Hello and welcome to another GCSE PE related video with Mr. Matthews. Guys, you've recently got me to 500 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you for your support, long may it continue. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, what the hell are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because you have a 500 rep challenge to look forward to as a result of me hitting 500 subscribers. The aim of today's video is to take you on a journey through the lungs, looking at the pathway of air, the structural parts that make up the respiratory system, gases exchange, and the features that support gases exchange. So let's begin by looking at the pathway of air. When we inhale, we take in oxygen through our nose and mouth. From here, oxygen passes into the trachea, which is also known as the windpipe. And from here, air enters the bronchi and moves quickly into the bronchioles. And finally, this air, this oxygen rich air, reaches the alveoli, which is situated in the lungs. One analogy that I like to use to remember this is by visualizing an upside down tree. So let's go on the same journey through the lungs, but using the tree analogy. When we inhale, we take in air. This air enters through our nose and mouth and enters the trachea, which in our tree analogy is the trunk. So it's the larger part of the respiratory system. From here, air passes into the bronchi, which are the larger branches. And from here, air enters the bronchioles, which are our smaller branches slash twigs. And then finally, at the end of these smaller branches slash twigs, we have the alveoli, which can be related to the leaves on a tree. This is where gases exchange takes place. And in simple terms, gases exchange refers to the transfer of gases between the alveoli and the capillaries. For detailed information about this topic, please click on my cardiac cycle video where I break the information down using a number of images. So let's now look at some of the key features of the alveoli that support it during gaseous exchange. The alveoli have a large surface area, which means uptake of oxygen is greater, but also carbon dioxide can be removed from the body when exhaling more efficiently as well. The alveoli also have moist, thin walls that are one cell thick, and this is useful as it enables gases to pass through the cell walls more efficiently. These thin walls result in a short diffusion pathway, which means diffusion occurs quicker. And remember, diffusion refers to the movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration down a concentration gradient. Another feature of gases exchange is that the alveoli are covered in capillaries. This creates a large blood supply which in turn enables gases to move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. One additional thing that you need to know is hemoglobin. So hemoglobin is the red pigment found in red blood cells. And this combines with oxygen, which creates oxyhemoglobin, but it's also very important that you know hemoglobin can in fact carry carbon dioxide as well. So collectively, all of the features just mentioned support gases exchange by making it more efficient and more effective in uptaking oxygen, but also removing carbon dioxide from the bloodstream. And there you have it guys, another GCSE P related video with Mr. Matthews. I hope you found today's video helpful. And if you did, please do not forget to click the thumbs up Thanks for watching, take care, see you soon, bye bye.